So yeah, my name's um, Stephen Lee. I'm the, the leader of the growth research team uh, uh, in DFID, which is part of the research and evidence division in, in DFID. And um, uh, I often have to tell people in, in, in DFID that growth research isn't uh, a very commonly used ter term in uh, academia, and not many people will say that they specialize in growth research because basically it's far too broad. Um, but there are an awful lot of people who do specialize in the kind of things that we are interested in. Um, it's, it's such a potentially broad term that we do try and uh, create a, a bit of a boundary around it uh, uh, and, a, and a focus within our, in our program. Um, so basically we're not very interested in adjustments to growth or income levels in middle income or upper income countries. We're very interested in growth in low income countries. And I think if we characterize the typical low income country as having an economy which has got a large traditional agriculture and maybe some natural resource extraction, and maybe some non-tradable non activities, non-tradable services, um, then we know that that kind of economy can often experience quite a few years of uh, uh, um, quite high growth um, uh, without really changing those characteristics and that that kind of growth can often reverse again. So I think beyond just being interested in growth in low-income countries, we are interested in the kind of growth which uh, um, is likely to lead towards a transition to middle-income status, is likely to involve uh, some more permanent sort of structural changes, changes in uh, productive sectors, changes in uh, sorts of employment, changes in the sorts of businesses and firms which are in the economy. Um, probably evolving institutions and a, and, a, and a change in political economy uh, along with those. So that's the kind of territory very, very broadly that we're interested in within the even broader possibilities of growth research as a term. Um, so these themes that we're talk, uh, going to be talked about today in the GGP need to relate to that. So it's going to be agriculture and structural change, uh, innovation and productivity shifts to do with those low income to middle income shifts and um, uh, financial sector that's uh, suitable for a low-income to middle-income transition. Um, I'll say a tiny bit about methods, which is basically just to say that we welcome a mixture of methods. So I, I work for uh, our chief economist, Stefan Dirkon, who's an economics professor in Oxford, and uh, the other director in division, uh, our division is the chief scientist, Chris Whitty, who is a professor of uh, um, international health and infectious diseases, amongst other things. Both of them, certainly Chris is very clear about what an, an RCT is, and in fact, I think sometimes is a bit skeptical about the social science version of RCTs, which he sees. Um, we're, we're, we welcome RCTs, definitely, especially if, well, we think, if they think they're going to work and be useful. But we also welcome large uh, sample uh, studies where there's going to be you know, added knowledge and uh, uh, relevance. And we welcome case studies and historical perspectives. So mm, there's nothing really exclusive on methods. Um, we, we would like, uh, we would like a, a, a broad mixture. Um, lots of, uh, basically, my whole division and certainly our team, this program is very concerned with uh, uh, sponsoring research of the highest quality. So it's got to be research which is, um, can be published in the uh, top journals, which would be reviewed by peers as a uh, very robust. Uh, uh, high-quality academic research. Um, we're certainly also very interested in uh, research which is conducted uh, either by or with uh, southern researchers, principally because we think they bring lots of useful insights about low-income countries, which uh, other researchers don't necessarily have. Um, we're also extremely concerned about policy relevance, or relevance, anyway, decision-maker relevance. So. Um, I think we don't think that any decision makers or policy makers to change a policy or make a decision on the basis of a single piece of research. <coughs> In fact, we can't quite actively advise people against that and advise them to uh, look at a balance of research, try and, try and uh, 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 look at synthesized uh, findings or, uh, and try to produce those for them, um, which is one of the things ODI will be helping with this in, 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 in this program. But at the same time, you know, we're very interested in this program and others uh, funding research which can directly contribute to the kind of balanced uh, uh, advice that a decision maker or a policy maker would, would need. So um, that does kind of bound, bound it a bit as well, I think. Um, 
So DFID ERCC growth program is a part of Red's program, part of its research program. It's, it's, it's not even, you know, it's a part of the, the, the growth research program of DFID, but it's a very important part to us. Um, we're very happy to be working with ERCRC, which uh, is uh, going to help us reach the UK's best researchers and also excellent international researchers. Uh, we know that ERCRC will put together a panel which will select excellent research proposals for us. Uh, so although we have all these uh, criteria, we will, not, we will not be making those micro decisions. Well, uh, it'll be uh, academic peers that do that uh, very well, I think. We've got the ODI helping us who are sitting around me, uh, they're helping us define the agenda uh, along with the SRC and uh, also convert some of this primary research into the sort of advice for decision makers that I was just talking about. And I think they'll be excellent at that. Um, so the ODI team uh, on the table here will uh, talk more about the themes in this particular call for the DGP very shortly, I think, so I'm gonna stop talking. Um, but just a final word to say that there are plenty of resources available uh, in this call for excellent uh, research proposals. So please listen, listen carefully, think hard, and make an application. Okay, thanks. Uh, very good. Thanks a lot, Stephen. Could you just say something about how it fits alongside other big programs in DFID, looking at growth like the International Growth Centre and PEDAL? What you mean is what some of the other large programs are? Yes, and how this relates to it, how it's different to them how it complements Well, we're about, we're, you're about to, I think I mentioned that the themes here are finance, agriculture, uh, and innovation. So I suppose the innovation does uh, uh, certainly overlap with some of the other uh, 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 programs that we've got. Um, both with Tilburg University, there's a, something about productivity and innovation which we're just launching there. And then there's this large pedal program which you just mentioned, which is kind of all about firms, uh, 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 enterprises in low-income countries, how they change. Uh, uh, in the way I've mentioned. Um, ISA, you just mentioned, is another of our large programs which is all about uh, labor, supply and demand of labor, uh, labor institutions, um, not very overlapping with this. So, uh, but, but, you know, we are, I think I mentioned that we're very interested in uh, seeing economies change and one of the dimensions in which they change will be the way that uh, the type of employment changes. So if there isn't a change in the type of employment, then we, even though there's growth, we think that maybe that's ephemeral growth. Mm. Whereas if we see uh, big structural shifts in employment, you know, uh, we know that something's going on. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't mm -hmm. think I should list all no, the, no, no, the no, programs. No, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> uh, there are plenty of others. Yeah, we, 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 the IGC is actually managed by another part of DFID, but it's going into a second phase, and we're going to take a bigger role in the uh, uh, research side of that. The, the bulk of the activity there is actually in their, their country offices. Yeah. <coughs> okay, uh, thank you very much, in, uh, Stephen.